All right, folks, where do I start with this? Uh, I just saw a video that a friend of mine posted on his YouTube channel. Um, his link is in the description below or however the hell you guys say that. Um, a friend of mine that's uh, in the Philippines, uh, white man, foreigner in the Philippines, live, been living there for a long time. Anyways, posted a video of Duterte saying that they're going to, like I said in my previous video, uh, put people in house arrest. Um, just watch this real quick. I did this, I did this uh, what do you call it, a screen capture. Just watch this, and then I'll get back to you. No, ito ngayon ayaw magpabakuna. Sinasabi ko sa inyo, huwag kayong lumabas ng bahay. Kasi pag lumabas kayo ng bahay, Sabihin ko sa mga polis, iibalik ka doon sa bahay mo, you'll be escorted back to your house because you are uh, a walking spreader. Ibang istorya ito, Adre. Uh, bayan itong pinag-uusapan natin. Kaya kung ayaw ninyong makatulong by having the vaccines, uh, di, wag na lang kayo lumabas ng bahay. Yung ayaw, wag na, wag na manghintayin. Uh, let's give it to the people who want it. Those who do not want it, well, uh, for, all, for all I care, you can die anytime. And in the end, he says, for all I care, you could die anytime. Wow. Wow. Now, a couple things about this video strike me as funny. I watched it a couple times, a couple, three times. Um, you know, he's saying that, you know, they're gonna, they're gonna stop you. They're gonna escort you home. You know, here in the United States, that's called house arrest. Um, Rick calls it free jail. Now, my question is, how are they gonna do that? Are they gonna, are they gonna stop everybody? First of all, as far as I know, um, the Philippines, unless you're like in Manila or something, they don't have full-on police departments, okay? They got Barangay, and I don't need to get into details about how that is. Um, they're not gonna stop everybody, okay? It's, it, it's, this is just my opinion, okay? And it, 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 it put, it, it make you, make you go home and make you stay there. First of all, okay, they could do that to, you know, few and far between with people. And, Second of all, how are they going to monitor that, okay, once you're there, okay? What are they going to have, a guard outside your house? I don't think so. Third of all is they don't have enough vaccinations yet in the Philippines to go around for everybody, okay? According to Karina, my Filipina better half, been with her for 13 years, I believe about... 85% of what she says to me, but that's besides the point. There's not enough vaccines to go around there. Okay, so what are they gonna do? Well, there's not enough vaccines and we're gonna, you know what? You can go ahead and try. That's that's how I look at it. I, I, could, be, I could be completely wrong. And for all I know, there could be a total crackdown, but you know, I don't know how to proper way to say this, logistically or statistically, whatever speaking. They're not organized enough there, as far as their police force, police force, to be able to fully enforce something like that. Now, switch gears and you go to the United States, okay? Things are fucking weird out here. Oops, I don't care. They're friggin' weird out here, okay? You got, you know, what was it? Oh, uh, on camera, you know, you have the, I call him and other people do, the former vice president of the United States, Bo Jiden, saying, you know, a few weeks ago, if you have the vaccine, you don't have to wear a mask. Oh, now they're not doing mask full on mandates, you know, statewide or nationwide. But they're, 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 it's, it's about control. It's about control. And, you know, well, well, they're not really talking about this anymore. They're talking about people going door to door to convince people to get vaccinated. Man. Go ahead and try. Oh, that would that'll fail within the first day because you have a lot of patriots out here. You have a lot of 
are people that that are onto this stuff. If somebody came to my doorstep, I wouldn't threaten them, but I would say you have about you got about 20, 30 seconds to get turn around and get off my property. Get out on that sidewalk. Okay. It's a weird thing. It's a weird thing, and I don't I honestly don't see an end to it coming anytime in the near future. It's a flu, okay? It's a flu. Now they have this Delta variant, you know, or other people call it the airline variant, which is, you know, or everyone just has different, you know, funny names put on things, and you know, that's that's good and fine. But you know what? I'm getting sick of it, a lot of people are getting sick of it, and the sad thing is there's nothing we can do about it. Okay. So my buddy, you know, I, I he, you know, he, he told me, he says, get the word out. You know, I might only have 52 subscribers, but I'm doing my best to get the word out. Just, just, if you want to get you, if you want to get your, you know, your, 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 your Wu-Tang flu shot, go ahead. Okay. Karina did. I haven't. It's not approved by the FDA. It's not. Okay. And it, 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 it's so wishy-washy. What's the point? Oh, you're going to, if you can still get sick from her, you're not going to get as sick. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. So anyways, thanks Rick for turning me on to that video. Um, I did my own little screen uh, capture of it. And uh, yeah, I'm going to try and I'm trying to get the word out to people the best I can. So anyways, yep. Yeah. Hang in there, folks. It's not over yet. See you.